Hey YouTube, good morning. It's another fine morning here in the middle of December. We're up here pouring our garage floor, four inch thick floor. It's got radiant tubing in it, it's got styrofoam in it. Just getting ready to pour, truck's coming back up. Hey, today I just wanted to show you guys I'm wearing a new kind of boot. You can slide them right on over your regular shoes, they're called treads. So they're a really tough, tough type of boot. And they fit right over my, I got LL Bean boots on, they fit right over my Bean boots so I don't have to take my shoes off, put on my concrete boots anymore. I just slide these right on over. They're really, really lightweight, you can see. So I can barely feel they're on, so we're going to try these in the concrete today, see how they feel. Okay. I have to tell they're on. Huh? You step them over and they close up. <laughs>
and they would be bought. It would be alright if all I thought was going down. Oh, yeah. So I have to get those socks and go up on the gas. So as I'm bull floating this, I just I'll tell you guys a little bit about the the radiant heat in the garage and the wire mesh. The the heating guy they like us to leave the heating tubes right on the bottom. That's just their preference. They don't want us to pull that stuff up into the concrete, so we don't. And the, they use the wire as a guide to tie the tubes to. They like to keep their tubing really nice and neat, and they use the the six 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 inches squares wire mesh to tie that tube into so they can tie it every 12 inches and keep it nice and neat and clean and really straight line so we got fiber mesh in the concrete for reinforcement so if you're wondering why like I'm not cranking up on the wire all over the place that's kinda why the heating guy wants to leave it just where it is and you know we're, we're gonna saw cut joints in this our saw goes down about an inch and a quarter into this four inch thick floor so it's just another precaution, you know, keeping the tubing down as low as you can so we don't cut a cut a piece of it and they got to come back and patch it. Ah, so good. Those tread boots are working pretty good, I should say. I like them. She died? She died. I'm going to say it. She said this and said that. She did. Been talking to her about it. Yeah. I don't know. Dog did too. Oh, you got it. 
So this stuff bolt floated pretty nicely, you know, for for concrete with really hot water in it plus accelerator. Sometimes it doesn't bolt float all that good because it starts setting up on you just a little bit. And you can see as I'm going over this with the bolt float, you know, across my screed lines, I'm really smoothing that out pretty nicely with not much effort at all. And when both the ends of the bolt float, you can see both the ends touching. That means you're that means you and there's no gaps underneath it that means your uh, slab is really nice and flat so this is going down really really nice and it really made for a pretty easy pour today as far as cold as it was all right so that went pretty good actually especially compared to yesterday yesterday's concrete was really hot this stuff went in pretty easy so again it's still a little bit below freezing today it's supposed to get just maybe a degree or two above freezing I think we're going to be all right. Our concrete formula for today is we got 3,500 psi fiber air, probably about 120 degree water they put in when they bashed it at the plant, and then two bags of cow and 10 and a half yards. Yesterday the boys got done with that same formula. They got done about 2:30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, all all power trowel and sod. So that's been working pretty good for us. As far as the treads boots, I I like them. They're they're really lightweight. Like I can't even tell. I can't even tell I got them on really over my over my just my regular bean boots. Uh, they're really lightweight. They seem really tough. They didn't really make it any harder to pour or screed the concrete when I was kicking, and uh, they fit like a glove. So they fit really nicely, uh, closely, right over my regular shoe. So I'd give them I'd give them an A if I was grading them. I think they're worth trying. So if you're looking for a concrete boot, you know, and you want to wear your regular shoes inside your boot these are probably the ones you're going to want to get okay guys we're going to clean up darren and luke will stay here in power trial get this power trial and saw today and then we'll check this one off the list it's the third week of december now so we're getting close to where it's getting too cold to do this stuff so thanks for watching see you on the next one